Hello, this is Amar Jyot Singh. I'm back here again with uh, one of my live videos, and I'm looking to take calls from somebody who uh, wants to ask me a question. Uh, this is, uh, uh, today is, uh, what is the date today? It's, it is 11, 11.13 right now. It's May 7th, and I wanted to report uh, uh, today's announcement by the immigration by Minister Hussain, Garno and Goodale about a lot of asylum seekers coming through Quebec from U.S. And they found out that many people who are not genuine refugees, they are just crossing over the U.S. border. And these people are not only from U.S. actually, they are coming from different countries, including Nigeria. They take a U.S. visa from Nigeria, they spend a few days in the U.S., and then they cross over the border, and then they apply for refugee. Uh, asylum in um, Canada. The Canadian government is spending a lot of money uh, and they're not telling us uh, how much, a lot of money in in dealing with these so-called irregular arrivals. Um, people are expected to pay for the refugee cost of processing for the health care, for now even for housing. The government is uh, indicating in the budget of 2018 at least $173 million over two years to strengthen border security and speed up processing of asylum claimants, uh, which are coming all the way from 2018 till 2019. So, um, I mean, you have to understand, you know, some people are waiting in queue for the application to be processed and other people simply just cross the border and, and come come over. K. Bhagat uh, has joined in. K. Bhagat, hello, how are you? Uh, I hope you're doing well. Irfan Khan is saying, hello, sir. There are other people who are watching, and if you want to ask me a question, you can just type your know, type type below. Uh, you can ask the question, or you can call uh, my number. I'm just waiting. My phone is here, and you can just call on the Canada number, and I can take your call directly. I was about to uh, tell you about the asylum uh, the problem in Canada, you know, Canada is a country is quite blessed geographically. It has a lot of resources and, uh, you know, in a lot of ways, a lot of ways attractive to migrants from different parts of the world, including South Asia. And uh, a few years ago, I think last year, possibly last to last year, Prime Minister of Canada, he tweeted, welcome to Canada for everybody who are having problems in America. And so all migrants in Canada, uh, sorry, in the U.S. thought, hey, let's go to Canada. The prime minister is calling us, and all the way through, people are coming. All the Central Americans, Mexico, El Salvador, Honduras, uh, Chile, uh, in Nicaragua, you know, anybody who is undocumented or who has no hope of getting a green card, they are thinking of going to Canada, and that's all. That's all they. That's all they're trying to do, and. You know, everybody's coming, and just a few days ago, President Trump says, look, Honduras TPS, temporary protected status, will be discontinued. So close to about 57,000-plus uh, people who have no future, who have no, no hope of any, anything, and they don't want to go to Honduras now and say, hey, let's go back to Canada. Canada is a free, free country, you know, free, soft target. Let's go back to Canada. That's what it is. Anyway, K. Bhagat, how are you? Everything good in Rani Bagh and New Delhi? I bet uh, you're having a good time. I, I miss the heat. I, I love to get into heat and eat some dishariya if possible. Sabrant Rati, hello, sir. How are you? Sabrant Rati, I'm good. Uh, you had any question for me, Mr. Rati? Uh, I, used to, I used to have a friend in my school. Uh, his name was Sandeep Rati. So uh, the spelling of Rati was R-A-T-H-I, everybody was different. Irfan Khan, can you please tell me whether family physician need to apply separately in each province on the specific PNP? Irfan Khan, your question is not clear. When you choose a PNP program, you choose a PNP in one single province. You just cannot shop around from different provinces and apply all the all together at the same time. Otherwise, they'll, all, they'll reject you everywhere, all right? So choose one. Sabrana Trati, I want you to go to Canada professionally. I'm a doctor in India. Sabrana Trati, you have to apply for express entry. I have many videos on YouTube for express entry. If you just type my name, you will see some videos, and uh, you will see how to calculate your points and apply for express entry on your own, and that's how you should do. 
You can do it on your own or you can do it through a lawyer, consultant, whomever you like. It does not matter. As long as you know how to do it, you should be able to do it on your own. This is not like a doctor medicine group. I cannot do the surgery on myself. I have to go to a surgeon to do a surgery, but Canada immigration is different. You can do it on your own, all right? Shridhar Chitti Babu, 999 for Chitti Babu. Why are you giving me all these numbers? Need your guidance for getting a work permit in Canada. Shridhar Chitti Babu, I've uh, made many um, videos about how to get a job and get a work permit. You should follow that, um, you know, <laughs> links and you will come to know you, of course, need a job. I mean, without without the job, how will you? I will get the work permit. All right, Shida Chitty Babu. I like your, like your uh, name, uh, Amandeep Singh Batra. Glad to see you again, sir. Amandeep Singh Batra, where are you? Your name looks like to me is from New Delhi or some other places. That's where the New Delhi names are. Amandeep Singh Batra. Uh, you should apply for. Uh, you know, asking about AINP. I mean, AINP. You AINP is not open for you, brother. ANP is for people who are already in Alberta right now. You cannot apply for ANP if you are outside. If you are already working in uh, Alberta on a valid work permit, then you can follow the links. Uh, it's the forms are given on the website. Uh, Shida Jiti Babu, I've already told you what I what I what you are asking. So, uh, any other questions that you have, you can ask me. Ask me a question that which, for which the answer is not easily available on their website. Immigration website of Canada is one of the best managed and best presented website as far as my experience is concerned. I've been doing a long time. Uh, best uh, immigration website anywhere in the world. And uh, most of the information is clear and is presented in a, in a very easy, useful, friendly manner. So you should follow the links there. Uh, I was talking about a Minister of Immigration in Canada and uh, other uh, colleagues, his colleague, Mr. Transport and Mr. Public Safety and Emergency Preparedness, uh, they are announcing that they are looking to take some strong action to block irregular arrivals coming from U.S., including many they discovered they're coming directly from Nigeria. Uh, one of the statements they say that given the high concentration of asylum claimants from Nigeria who were only in U.S. legally for a brief moment of time, before crossing the border, two concrete actions were announced today. They are sending actually Canadian officials to uh, go and talk and, and, and then consult with the U.S. visa uh, officials in, in uh, Lagos to see I mean, who are these people who are getting U.S. visa and then using it to jump to Canada. This is a serious, this is not good, all right? So that's what I think Canada will send the staff there to see. Babu Rana, Babu Rana. Amandeep Singh Batra, thanks a lot, sir. Amandeep Singh Batra, I'm, I'm glad uh, you found it useful. If you're in Delhi, I miss going to Delhi. Delhi is my favorite place, by the way. Uh, Babu Rana, I'm from India, Himachal. I have a job visa, Canada, European country. Babu Rana, why are, you, why are you leaving Himachal and coming to Canada? Himachal is God's own country. I mean, I, I when I went to Himachal last time and I see... Uh, you know, written on the bus is uh, something in Hindi called uh, Himachal, uh, at this, um, Himka Parva, something like God's, something, I, I forgot the name actually, it, but it, it says, you know, God's live here in Himachal and you are living the place where God's living and coming to European country, and why? Uh, you, if you are coming, you need a job offered and then you get the job visa, all right, that's, that's what... Irfan Khan, I mean to say which PNP prefers doctor. Irfan Khan, you should go to British Columbia. I think that's what you will you will find it easy for doctors. You know, if you're a qualified doctor, I think BC, uh, uh, e even though other provinces are hiring, they're always uh, selected to be looking for qualified licensed physicians. But I think BCP is on the top of the list. Robin Mahajan, I'm working in Dubai. Can I apply for work permit? Sure, anybody can apply for work permit. Robin, if I, let me ask you, I'm in Canada. Can I apply for work permit in Dubai? Sure, of course. If I have a job offer, I can. Same, same in Canada. Heather Alicia is asking, hi, sir, I'm living in Mexico City. What is the best way to come to Canada? Hey, uh, Heather Alicia, Heather Alicia, right? The Mexico City. Heather Alicia, you in Mexico on a valid visa? I hope you are. Uh, if you're on a valid visa, if you have legal stay in Mexico, you can apply for express entry, apply for regular tourist visa, visitor visa, study visa, work visa to come to. Go to the Canadian Embassy in Mexico City. They'll help you out, all right? So, oh, yes, Babu Rana, Dev Bhumi. I got the right. I got Babu Rana, thank you for reminding me. It's called Dev Bhumi, right? 
So I, I was traveling in, um, in one of those Buddhist places. I don't know what's called Kangra, Kangra Valley. And I, and I saw a bus that says Dev Bhumi. And I, and I was asking my wife and children, hey, look at all this Dev Bhumi. I think Dev, uh, Dev, Devi Devta are living here in Himachal. And Himachali people are leaving Himachal and going to somewhere else where Devs are not living. I mean, that is amazing. Babu Rana, all right, void main. So can you explain about express entry for civil engineer? Void main, void main express entry is the same thing, brother. I mean, you go to express entry and, you know, I mean, just type express entry in my name on YouTube, you'll see many videos. And uh, then you, you'll know. I mean, this is the same thing, whether it's for civil engineers or soft engineers, it's the same thing. Shida Chitti Babu, I lost huge amount two years by agents, so that's why I'm confused. I'm working as a team leader and you know. Shida Chitti Babu, you know, I'm going to type, I'm going to leave my YouTube uh, link here so that you should be able to see. I'm not going to type right now. But uh, as soon as we conclude, I will type a uh, YouTube link to uh, Express Entry. Yeah, so you can follow this and then go forward. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I regularly post many updates. I have a show again for Canada Immigration after about uh, seven hours from now, seven to eight hours from now, uh, local time here, uh, eight o'clock in Edmonton. So India time, it will be uh, early morning. So you will be able to see and you can ask questions from there as well. So a lot of people listen to that show here in Canada and they ask questions and you can too. Irfan Khan, thank you. Best options for accountants. Uh, KP Singh, Express Entry, KP Singh, all right. Babu Rana, I want to go because future any options. Uh, Babu Rana, Express Entry, job offer, all right. So I don't deal in job offers, you know, because I've told him many times, many, including other people, you know, job offer, people are asking a lot of money and I don't deal in money reading dealings, all right. I don't have money and I don't like to deal in illegal money dealings and, you know, employees asking. So you should have get a genuine employer who needs a worker like you and they don't charge money. If they don't charge me, then you shouldn't go forward. How much time will it get to PR for doctor? What problem should I choose? Sabran Thwati, I, I think I mentioned to somebody else, BCPNP is, uh, is a better option if you want to go that way. If you are licensed, you should apply for registration in BC in advance from India also. And uh, But you should do express entry, regular express entry at the same time. So express entry depends on the points. How long will it take? Heather Alicia, PR. Abhishek Chaudhary, I'm a graduate student's master's office, San Jose State University, will complete degree. This is a good idea to apply. Yeah, Abhishek Chaudhary, uh, welcome to the show. I love San Jose. I was in San Jose many times, and I, and I love the downtown San Jose and, you know, taking the LRT, the, the train which goes all the way through, uh, all the way from Santa Clara Convention Center. Uh, San Jose is a, is a good place. Um, if you, I've, I've made some videos about H-1B and, and student visa holders in U.S. who have no other option of green card or they don't like Trump or for whatever reason, you know, they want to leave and come to Canada, they should apply. They should follow the express entry, come, apply for Canada it's right from there. So uh, it's a good idea. Yeah, you can apply right now if it is. Or, yeah, two years experience is good, uh, but the maximum points are at the three-year experience level. So, but you know, you have to see your points, improve your English possibly, and then up your points. If your age is around 30, 30, 31, I think you'll get good, uh, good points in the CRS. So that's what you should do. Abhishek uh, Chaudhary, you can always give me a call for a private consultation. You have my number. If you look at my profile, you get my number, or you can search my name on YouTube. Or, or just type my name on Google, you will see my number as well. I'm going to leave a, a YouTube link uh, as soon as we conclude this talk. Abedullah Khan is saying, so what will be the best option to immigrate to Canada, the PNP Express Entry? These, uh, brother, these are same questions. Guys, I just want to let you know, many of these questions are pretty much the same. Express Entry is for skilled people. If you have job experience of at least one year, three years is best. If you have strong English, if your age is less than 30, 31, 32, you will have a maximum shot of getting the express entry points, all right? So everybody should apply for express entry. Babu Rana, thanks a lot. Babu Rana is saying, please visit again. Himachal Dev, whom will give a chance. <laughs> yes, Babu Rana, I, will, I, will, I, I love Himachal. I was in living in, uh, I, I stayed in Himachal uh, last time in a place called, uh, I forgot the name, uh, with P, um, I forgot. We, we took a bus and a tour from Kangra, all went all the way to the Buddhist area. And uh, there are a lot of lakes, a lot of old temples, and it was uh, wonderful. I, I liked Himachal. I wish I, I wish I can leave Canada and come and live, start living in Himachal. It's a nice place. I liked it. Raza Rami Sayamad, hello, I want to get information about season visa, season visa for my school. 
I don't know what season visa is. Raja Ram visa, I don't know what you're talking about. A season visa. Uh, you better explain clearly what that means. <laughs> Uh, Shida Chitti Babu, need your guidance forever. Please send the links to employees. I said, I will, Shida Chitti Babu. I, I, I love your name. You know, your your name is such a... I, I, I love saying this. Shida Chitti Babu. It's, it's a wonderful name. I uh, need your number. Everything will be provided there. I will put it right there. And Shida Chitti Babu is uh, the latest number also disclosed on uh, regularly. Guys, about uh, some people are watching the show and, um, you know, others probably thinking. Uh, my general advice for people who are professionals who have master's degree and minimum one year, two year, or three year experience, you should apply for express entry, especially if your English is very strong. If you speak even French, that's much better. Uh, you will make points in express entry, and express entry is the is the government preferred way of giving PR to people who qualify. The best points are at the age of 30, 31. After that, you know, the points start going down. Um, if you have master's degree, if you if you have a wife who has master's degree, if you have three years plus experience and strong English, strong English means 7.5, 888 each, 888 each. I was in Bangalore a few years ago and I met a girl who was very impressive score. She had 9999. I said, what? How did you get the score? Even people in Canada and America don't get 9999. So... Uh, uh, but uh, she had an ex exemplary uh, score. So if you work hard, you can get the score and you can make uh, make it through. All right, thank you very much for your time. Uh, I appreciate your uh, your attention here. I'm going to type the link for getting the express entry uh, guidance on you know how to look at the points express entry, and you can follow. It's on YouTube, and you'll you'll be able to follow other other videos as well. I I love to post uh, videos on on YouTube about immigration. All right. Thank you very much for your time. I I want to say goodbye.